Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high-definition real estate video. Michael Posnick has been selling real estate for 17 years on Prince Edward Island, and he's seen lots of technological changes during that time, changes coming and going. But right now, he's using this neat device to help his clients get a bird's-eye view of some of the large properties that are for sale. Kind of looks like a remote-control airplane or helicopter. This on-demand remote-controlled drone quadcopter takes aerial video and photos. It is not a cheap device, but it is proving popular with his clients. Michael is with Century 21 Northumberland in Summerside, and he joins us now on the line. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Matt. It's a beautiful day in PEI. Thanks for uh, having me aboard this morning. It certainly is a great day. Not a bad day for a flight. No, no, not at all. Absolutely gorgeous looking out the window here. Why is this such a great tool for your clients, this drone helicopter you've got? Well, it's certainly not a replacement for going up in a a Cessna, but it's certainly a lot less expensive, and it's something you can do on demand. And when I say on demand, the biggest challenge for me in the past doing aerial photos, which were sort of the new thing years ago, Uh is just having some, some weather like today where you could get up in the plane and there wouldn't be any turbulence, and you've got sun, you've got the cooler weather with no haze and the amount of days we have like that here anywhere else are somewhat limited plus it's costly um, and I, w- I won't even get into the safety issue but with this I can stay on the ground where I, where I prefer to be I can take aerial video high definition super high resolution video at 60 frames a second so it's taking 60 pictures a second which I can later take from the desktop computer and I can use still photos But now I have not, you know, 20 or 30 or 50 to choose from. I have hundreds or or sometimes a thousand photos of that one property. And is this literally like like flying a remote control airplane? Remote helicopters have been around for years. The problem with them uh, and, and the remote planes is they're just difficult to operate. And it gets very confusing when the plane, you know, isn't flying forward. You know, when you reverse it, the controls are backwards. It gets yeah. very, very complicated. The difference between this, this remote quadcopter, there's four blades. It has a built-in GPS, built-in compass. It has built-in sensors to, to tell when the, the helicopter is shifting. So it does a lot of the flying for you, which makes it a lot easier and a lot better for aerial photography, because if you let go of the controls, it just hovers there until the battery dies. What kinds of properties would you use this for? That's a good question. It's just in the experimental stage right now. It's certainly not a replacement for, like I said, traditional aerials. But what it's been really handy for is is larger acreage. You know, I'm not talking 100 acres. It could be two or three or five or 40 acres, particularly land you cannot see wooded. Uh, with valleys, you know, full-grown trees. At least, at least with this, you can fly over top, you can see the shoreline, you can see the water table reflected in the type of plants and growth and the trees. You can just get a much, much better perspective than you can from the ground looking at a bunch of trees, you know, which really isn't going to tell you yeah. much about the property. Now, you do have Google Earth and that, but this is a thousand times more detail. And how expensive is it? Comparatively speaking, I mean, I've been studying these for years. Years ago, you're talking tens of thousands of dollars. Today, you know, you're talking about about six or seven hundred dollars for the craft, and then your camera or whatever you want to mount on it. A high resolution camera now is about four hundred dollars. Now, I understand you did lose one along the way, though. That was my second flight with the first quadcopter. <laughs> the second one has an onboard GPS. So now, when I lose it, and I did lose it up in launching, I was doing a property. I'm able to find it. So that that's probably my best advice. These things move quickly. Yeah. And and the biggest problem is when they get far away, they turn into a dot which just disappears and you don't know where it is. So that was the learning curve. Use the GPS. Yes, attach the onboard GPS to find it. Also good for for pets and animals, kids. <laughs> How common is this real estate agents using this kind of a device? I can't really answer that. I haven't seen it done. Uh, before. I know a lot of people are using it throughout the world, everywhere from Australia to Russia to Europe, uh, to to hover over cities and shorelines and show different aspects of the land, but I haven't seen it used in real estate yet. And what sort of reaction have you been getting from clients? Huge. I, I can't believe the reaction. I didn't think it was as big as it's turned into be, but uh, apparently it, uh, I, was, I was up west one day and it was the talk of the town because I was on one site for two or three hours just playing around with it and converting it into video. 
and uh, it seems to be quite popular. Now, be honest. How much fun is this? I know it's work, but how much fun is it to take one of these up in the air? It's a lot of fun, but it's kind of nerve-wracking at the same time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe after two or 300 videos, I'll be a lot more at ease. And you mentioned that this isn't that common in real estate. Where did you come up with this idea? Did you just read about this and think it could, it could work and pertain to your work? I got the idea originally from the, you know, like the U.S. military drones flying over land, and I thought this would be just perfect for doing aerial surveys of land, or even properties or houses. I mean, if you have a house that's wooded, a tree lot, what a better way to demonstrate that than from the air and being able to do that the same day you lift the house. Are you heading out there today? To take the helicopter up? Yeah. I'm not sure. I never know what my day entails until it's over. <laughs> well, well, happy flight to you, Michael, and I appreciate you telling us about this. Well, Matt, I really appreciate coming on, and I wish everybody uh, the best of the day. Michael Posnick is a real estate agent with Century 21 Northumberland in Summerside. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You demand, boy, you demand.